shark protesters are changing tack, targeting the suppliers of bait and drumline equipment to put a stop to the Barnett government's shark catch and kill policy. The government claims intimidation tactics are being used, forcing a local supplier of drumline hooks to pull out. Last summer, anti-shark kill protesters directed their anger at the state government. It's their water! But Premier Colin Barnett hasn't budged. The government supplied for more drum lines off WA's coast to be set between November and April for the next three years. Protesters say democracy's failing them, so their strategy's changing. Uh, we'll look at all aspects, who's supplying the equipment and who's supplying the, the boats, who are the contractors to the government, um, and we'll ask those people very nicely not to get involved with this because it's a shameful policy. Henderson Business, Taylor Marine, is a supplier of hooks and other drumline equipment and has been targeted by protesters. The state government's confirmed the intimidation has forced the company to pull out of that contract. The Fisheries Minister was not available to comment today, but a spokesperson says the government is appalled at the protesters' tactics of intimidation. Anyone who crosses the line can expect to face the full force of the law. Protesters deny any intimidation. We're not out to, to target anyone, we're not out to ruin anyone's business. We're just out there to make people aware that this is a very unpopular policy. Alicia Kennedy, Nine News.